He's worth $5 billion and turns 90 this year. But Steff Wertheimer is not one to sit back and relax. Some billionaires buy islands, others pledge their fortune to charity, some even run for president. Steff Wertheimer plans to put his fortune towards an even higher purpose, bringing peace to Israel and its neighbours by fostering industry and jobs. To do this, he spent millions building industrial parks, like this one in Nazareth. Uh, <laughs> it's not Arab, it's not a Jewish story, it's a story of all people living together. If people are too busy working and earning money, he reasons, they won't have time to fight. Copy Switzerland, copy Germany, copy South Korea, and then you have peace in this area. It's a sentiment shared by Imad Yunus, whose company moved to the Nazareth Park and makes electrodes for treating neurological disorders. I would love that uh, if we had like uh, 10 steps, I think we can change Israel uh, totally. The latest eruption of violence would suggest it'll take more than that. More than 25 Israelis and around 160 Palestinians, most of them assailants, have been killed since October. At the Tefen Industrial Park, Wertheimer's vision has been working for 30 years. He lords industries like soap making and metalworking, even more than the startups for which Israel has become famous. And the main thing is that we should make the product and not only invent it. You know, less R&D and more export-oriented products. So it would create more jobs. For Wertheimer, who still eats with workers at Iskar's canteen, it's also personal. I have a special mission to see that I will stay here and be happy here and not have to wander around like my parents from Germany after 200 years of staying there. So I just continue to do the same job I did uh, 80 years ago. And so Israel's third richest man will keep building industrial parks. His next one is planned for the southern desert, aimed at the country's Bedouins. Elliot Gottkin, Bloomberg News, Northern Israel.